All right, welcome back. This is Minyak. Today we'll be talking about the Tier 3 Euro Pan-European Destroyer, uh, the Romulus class. Okay, if you like this type of video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe, all right? So, a little bit historical background on the Romulus. Okay, this is originally actually a speaker class, uh, well, ship. It was made by the Italian Navy in during the world war ii so this is built in 1930 well finished in 1935 so this ship is actually a world war ii ship now in the italian navy they are called the speaker class yes just different uh this is actually the class of this ship is actually a torpedo boat then in 1940 this ship was actually sold to the Swedish Navy and it was commissioned until 1958 or it was scrapped. So, this ship was changed during its service on the uh, Swedish Navy. The ship class was changed to a destroyer class. That's why we, ha we have a, a Romulus class destroyer. The, Actually, there are two ships that was actually sold to the uh, Swedish Navy. Uh, well, the first one, the original name of the ship is actually Spica and Astorte. When they are in service in the Swedish Navy, the, cha the name was changed to Romulus and Remus. Yeah, which is actually the two mythical, mythical figures. Well, I don't know which whether it's mythical figure of, of the founding father of Rome. So this name actually taken from a mythical Rome, uh, which actually kind of show that the ship is actually made by the Italians. Okay, In, okay, the real historic historical ship uh, has 100 millimeter gun mounted, uh, three yeah three turret. 100 millimeter gun mounted and also you see uh, four single torpedoes uh, which is actually side by side so it's two on each side that's the original ship now uh, let's talk about this this ship in game so uh, this ship in game yeah the turret it has three turret fully upgraded is 120 millimeter right now i'm using the upgraded version of the turret the guns so it has three guns the reload of the gun is 6.5 uh, second damage is uh, on he is 1450 on ap is 1650 with 6% fire chance and the range of 9.5 kilometer. Okay, now on to the torpedoes. Yes, it's actually different than the historical uh, torpedoes. So the torpedo on this ship is actually two launcher, but it's, uh, it's kind of different. Uh, the first one is actually a twin launcher, which actually dropped two torpedoes, and the second one is actually a quad launcher, so it dropped four torpedoes. So yeah. The first one is always the, uh, you know, the one that launched two torpedoes. But yeah, it's the same. Actually, the it's the same on the range. It's eight kilometers, and also the uh, reload on the torpedo is uh, also the same. Let's see, the reload on the torpedo is forty second, and damage on the torpedo is let's see. 4200 uh, yeah which is actually super bad on uh, it's a is a european destroyer so it is considered a european destroyer so the torpedo damage is a dot it's actually way less than the uh, tatra tatra okay so this ship can only do 4200 uh, on each torpedo maximum damage so you'll be looking at nine 3k ish and sometimes less than 3k on the damage from torpedoes okay the range of the torpedo is 8 kilometers and the speed of the torpedo is 55 knots 
Yeah, and you cannot add modules to increase the speed. So the speed is uh, pretty much 55 not mm, just normal. Uh, well, if you want, yeah, you can increase the speed on torpedoes if you are using your captain. But yeah, what's the point? It reduces the range of the torpedo by 20%. So yeah, don't do that. Okay, 55 knot, 4,200. I keep calling it the dot torpedo, but uh, pretty much every single European sh uh, destroyer is like that. You know, the torpedo is not going to do a lot of damage. Okay, the HP of the ship. This is without uh, is that, uh, without the survival expertise mastery. This is without survival expertise. If you have survival expertise, you probably add mm, 750. That's not that much. But this ship has survivability of 7,700 HP, which is actually the top. Hmm. I don't understand that. This is tier 3, but the HP is actually less. Okay, on to the speed of the ship. The speed maximum speed of the ship is 34 knots which is actually more than the tatra 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 is uh let's see 32 knots so this ship has an improvement on the speed uh, well and the turning radius is still the same 610 hmm okay now on to the concealment the concealment of the ship is at the same as the tatra at six kilometer with Ammo. So if you have cap, 10 point captain with concealment mastery, this thing can have about a 5.4 concealment. Hmm. Which is actually kind of nice. Also, this ship is similar to the original Tatra. It does not have, um, well, it does not have smoke. Well, any European destroyer does not have smoke. It only has consumable, let me see, speed booster. So yeah, there are also, at this tier, there are no repair party. Yep. So this ship is, hmm, well, you can spam torpedo. Definitely you can. I just dropped, let me see, one, two, three, four. I think I dropped six torpedoes toward the aircraft carrier. Yes, because I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I'll risk it. Apparently, it, five of the six torpedo hit, so I will be going to do a second round of torpedo hit. Yeah, the, the damage of this torpedo, you know, of this ship torpedo is uh, ridiculously low. I mean, it's five torpedo only net me five. So what? 15k, 16k, something like that. 15 to 16k. That is five torpedoes. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to do a second round of torpedo attack on the carrier. Might as well hit the other carrier. Yes, this ship has, you know, this game has two carriers. Yay! Two carrier, and my destroyer does not have any smoke. Might as well kill them, as, you know, first. Uh, uh, kind of risky because I am inside enemy territory alone. Yeah, I'm using speed booster. I'm going to drive. Well, the reload of this tor the torpedo on this, uh, you know, is 40 seconds. If you have torpedo armament you could drop it to 37 second <laughs> 37 second one torpedo it's actually a lot of you can sp really spam torpedoes except the damage is quite low that's the drawback of this ship and it does not have smoke so I am chasing the carrier yeah I just killed the other carrier Apparently the another five torpedo hit. Total about 38k damage. 
to 38k AD just uh, reduce by uh, divide by 10 torpedoes so it's about 3k 3k 3.5k ish because I'm actually shooting also I am dumping torpedo again now toward the Hosh Hosho Yep, managed to land one hit. One torpedo hit. Hmm. I did chasing it because I, I I'm using my speed booster. The uh, enemy CV is kind of <laughs> confused. I guess there yeah, is like panicking <laughs> and dumping torpedoes again. Because the reload time is 40 seconds, might as well dump torpedo and dump more torpedo, right? Uh, so, total... Alright. Facing and... Yep, dump, dump the carrier. Yeah, well, apparently... Five torpedo hit is not enough to kill it. So I have to shoot, take a shot at the carrier. So oh, total torpedo hit right now is 15, <laughs> and this is not the end of the game. <laughs> 15 torpedo hit. Yeah, usually if you use like a what is a Japanese destroyer, will be less torpedo hit, but yeah, the damage will be huge. Huge, tremendous. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I am dumping more torpedoes. You just keep keep dumping torpedoes in this ship. Dumping torpedoes, take a shot. Dumping torpedoes, take a shot. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm taking a big risk. Usually, usually I'm a coward. Well, depending. Well, most of the time I'm I, I'm a coward, but yeah, at this at this game is an exception. I am kind of like quite aggressive. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, okay, more torpedo hits, yay, on the Nassau. So seventy. Well, it's flooding. The Nassau is flooding. Okay, so yeah, this captain. Well, I did did. I'm not. I did not use the ten point captain on this ship because I had then I have to retrain for different. You know, for the higher tier one. So this ship only has a three point captain. So you know, just priority target and the last stand. That's it. Yep. So if you want to spam torpedo on this ship, yeah, stick a torpedo armament uh, captain on this ship. Yeah, then you can actually do a 37 second reload time. Yeah, that is quite a lot. <laughs> you could actually really, really drop torpedoes. Yeah, kind of interesting though, you know, the Wargaming create the ship with 6 torpedoes. The original ship can only drop two torpedo on each side so yeah okay I am dumping more torpedo toward the Nassau it's kinda hard to actually hit the Nassau because he is right, right in front of me and he's like moving around even low So total torpedo hit right now is 18 torpedo hit. <laughs> it's when I did the torpedo that many torpedoes hit. Yeah, it's like never. Yeah, the only problem with the uh, European destroyer is that the number of torpedo does not increase. I mean, at tier 7, it has the same, 6 torpedoes. Yeah, I think they, they start changing torpedo at the you know, number amount of torpedoes at 
tier A? Yes, at tier A you can have like eight torpedo, I think. I have to look it up again. So yeah, this is the Romulus. Uh, kind of remind me of Star Trek Romulans, but uh, yeah, Romulus and Remus. It's kind of a sad story. I think if I'm not mistaken, Romulus actually killed his brother Remus, something like that. Yeah, I don't remember the story, but uh, it's, it's the story. Mythical story. Well, I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know if the story is kinda... Alright, so this is the last ship. So yeah, I managed to turn it around after killing the uh, two carrier. Yeah, carrier is always a pain in the butt. And if you can take them out early, then yeah, by all means do it. <laughs> My hatred toward carrier. Okay, just keep. I'm, I'm trying to get a fire on the core bed, but uh, apparently not. Nah, I'm nah, nah, different. Okay, the RNG does not like me. All right, so let me pull out the result. Okay, the result is this is. Hmm, I did 83k damage on tier three. <laughs> Uh, 3 kills, 19 torpedo hit, okay, 63 main battery, 4 floodings. Yeah, this is actually kind of like the typical European destroyer. Uh, a lot of torpedo hit, uh, the damage is, well, this is actually quite a lot for tier 3. But yeah, typical of uh, European destroyer. The new European destroyer is that it has low reload time for torpedo, so you could actually you know drop a lot of torpedo well it does not always guarantee a hit but yeah apparently at this time because i'm chasing a, i was chasing a carrier i could actually do about well that much 19 torpedo hit is actually quite a lot yes 2400 exp okay we pull out the team score yeah kind of ob obvious yeah, I'm actually having three kills. Uh, so the base EXP is 1,493. Yay, number one. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is tier three. So a lot of people does not even know how to play. Uh, maybe carrier. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, detailed report. Yes, I sunk the carrier. The two carrier and also the battleship Nassau. And two Corbett and Borascu. Okay, that's just main battery. So what do I think of the ship? Uh, well, well, this this ship can do a lot of you know torpedo hit, but yeah, torpedo is a the, the torpedo itself is a dud. Yeah, four thousand two hundred damage. So you really need a lot of torpedo hit, and it's kind of difficult if you are not really close. You know to your enemy to have that much uh, torpedo hit so yeah and this ship does not have smoke it's it has pretty good concealment but it does not have smoke so yeah well if you are fighting a very good carrier well two cv two carrier yeah you might have a problem with this ship but yeah apparently the this game i am in luck because I have, uh, you know, the enemy carrier is not that smart, okay? Alright, uh, I guess this is the end of the video. And, okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again on the next video. Alright, this is Minyak, signing off.